Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to pre-production for The Modern Guitarist. And in the last video, we were talking about importing our MIDI into Logic. So now what I'm going to do is talk about how I humanize the drums a little bit and kind of get them a little more close to how I want them to sound before I actually start tracking guitars. And uh, another thing I forgot to mention was I had a piano part that I had written for this song. It's just a little simple piano part. I'll just kind of play it real quick. kind of based off something in the song and um, when I first put the MIDI in you're not going to hear anything so what just a little tip for if you're doing this kind of thing and I'm using contact 5 um, let me show you what I'm working with a little bit so right here I got orchestral essentials piano mystique pretty nice little piano sound and uh, but when I when you first put it in right here where it says MIDI channel actually when you first open it it'll say all so th this is what you're going to hear not a damn thing so what you have to do is change this to one. So that way, uh... so that way you get your piano sounds. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I go about humanizing the drums a little bit in kind of a quick keyboard shortcut fashion. Uh, Cause usually when you're working on pre-production you wanna get stuff going right away. You don't wanna sit around and twiddle with all this stuff. So we have all our drums selected and we're going to do a little bit of humanizing. So you go to functions, transform, you're going to see humanize, click that. It's going to bring you into this little window and uh, right here you'll see velocity and position. Those are the main ones we're going to work with. And uh, we'll, we'll shift them, let's say, it between five different velocities. So it could be like five up and five back from where they are, which I think they're around like 116. And then right here is the position. And this is what's cool is what kind of takes all the MIDI notes, which are perfectly on the grid now, and it uh, shifts them around. So if you have everything right here and the MIDI notes right here, what it's going to do is going to shift it back a little bit, shift them forward, and it's going to randomize all of them, and uh, which is very helpful instead of moving them all yourself because you don't want to do that. Because um, this is pre-production. We're not trying to get all crazy with that. Unless, you know, you're trying to get better at that. But uh, other than that, just worry about letting your drummer do his job. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and then everything's selected, we're gonna do operate only. So, boom, you see everything kind of shift around. Now, let's go back and check it out. All right, so right here, you see how all these are different colors now? So we have, this one's 113, this one's 116, this one's 112. So everything's different and also, some of the stuff has shifted off the grid a little bit. And you can you can go a little bit more if you want. Let's here, let's try that. Select it. Let's do a little bit more. Let's try 119 and see what happens. So yeah, boom, you see everything really shifting off the grid, which is cool because it makes it, you know, a little more realistic because drums don't play perfectly to a click unless they're Jesus. So let's go ahead and listen to this, see how this sounds now. Right, cool so it's sounding a little bit better a little more how I'd like to hear it now another thing I like to do is Superior Drummer has some really good samples uh, what you want to do is experiment to see what velocity the samples sound best at uh, let's say right now you might be like oh the kick doesn't really have that much punch to it but once you start increasing the velocity it will so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make all my kicks the same well, I'm going to go into transform let's do fixed velocity we're gonna do, let's do 125. All right, so all my kicks are the same, same velocity. When it comes to kicks, I don't really care. I just like it to sound punchy. All right, so, and another thing you can do too is uh, all the parts where you have blast beats, bringing down the velocity of the snare during blast beats makes them sound a little more realistic because if you have this constant high velocity snare, it's going to sound programmed, it's going to sound fake. But bringing down the velocities on the snare a little bit is cool because that's how drummers play. They're, a lot of times they're focusing on their feet, the hands kind of go back a little bit, and uh, kind of 
rounds it out a little bit and doesn't sound so, you know, snare heavy in the mix. Let me see, let me find a little blast beat part. So that sounds pretty programmed. Now, what if I, whoa, watch out. Logic Pro 9, you pissed me off. I'm trying to smash my ears out. All right, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go down here and let's bring these down a little bit. Let's bring them down to 100 and see how that sounds. All right, so we have that compared to this. All right, so that sounds a little more realistic, and that's something I'd rather hear than, you know, these crazy loud snares. All right, cool, so the drums are set up, and after this is pretty much the recording phase, and we're going to start recording some guitars, and I'm going to show you guys how I set up my tools and logic for what I'm actually tracking and editing as I go, and, um, yeah, so keep checking out for when the new videos are coming up, and subscribe if you haven't already. I suggest you do if you are enjoying the videos, which I hope you are. And, um... See you next time.